For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another update video for you guys today. Yesterday was probably the biggest update I've ever seen in a Madden game. Uh, there was so much stuff in there. I mean, the, the patch notes were extremely long. I had to really break it down to keep the video kind of short, and it was still a 17-minute long video. They got another update today, which is mostly player ratings, but I also want to go over some of the stuff that was hidden in the patch that wasn't even, you know, talked about in the patch notes yesterday that we all are finding out as we're playing the game. If you're playing the game if you played the game since the update you know exactly what i'm talking about there's a lot of really weird stuff to get into that was in the patch yesterday that was never reported and and a lot for a lot of people will kind of ruin the game in a lot of different ways that i'll go over in a minute but before i do as always if you guys want me to continue these type of update videos and i know you do because yesterday's video was very popular but just make sure to hit the like button be a subscriber and all that good stuff let's go and let's get right into it uh, i'm going to start off with some of the stuff that was in the patch yesterday that wasn't reported like i said that was really weird there was a couple things uh, that really changed uh, number one probably the biggest one is they actually changed the coaching adjustments removing one of the most popular coaching adjustments from the coaching adjustment section uh, which is where you could tell your cornerbacks and your defensive backs whether to play ball play receiver uh, play you know swap ball all that stuff that whole section is gone which is really weird I don't really understand why they took that away it turns out that they took it away because they said it wasn't working anyway which is kind of strange because it never really made sense I mean if you played ball or you played swap ball whatever you didn't see an uptick of those actual animations if you played you know played the receiver you didn't even necessarily get more knockouts although i thought that it was getting me more knockouts but if you played receiver it's not like your interceptions went away you still get interceptions so i could understand what they're saying but it's still weird that they just took it away i mean there's a lot of things in the game especially when it comes to coaching adjustments that really don't seem to do anything like half of them really like if you ever put your tackling to aggressive or anything like that you don't get more fumbles you know what i mean it's like none of those coaching adjustments a lot of the coaching adjustments really don't feel like they do anything or make sense but for some reason they had to take a stand against play ball versus play play receiver versus swap ball that one had to go for some reason so i don't really understand that i mean why don't they remove the one for change that changes blocking like some people know that on the offensive side there's a setting where you can basically play blocking uh where you can hold a block longer or not hold a block as long which doesn't make sense that one's just completely useless i don't think anybody in the history of madden since it's been in the game has used that but that's still in the game another weird one is they changed uh the three four defense uh, adjustments basically they changed to the point where if you blitz all linebackers now in a 3-4 the outside linebackers don't count as outside linebackers they count as defensive linemen so if you blitz all linebackers in a 3-4 only the two middle linebackers blitz now so it just basically create an extra step to creating a blitz out of the 3-4 odd but at the end of the day, if you want to like pinch the defensive line, then it goes back to the old thinking process where only the three defensive linemen in the middle pinch and the outside linebackers don't count as linemen then. So which one is it? Are they are they defensive linemen or are they um, you know, or they're linebackers? Because they're listed as linebackers, but if you want to pinch them, you have to pinch the linebackers. If you want to if you want to blitz them you have to blitz the defensive line you have to slant the angles outside so a whole bunch of stuff like that that doesn't make any sense the biggest one that i saw that people are having issues with though is the kick meter is now blocked for a lot of people for some reason uh whenever they're kicking off or whether they're kicking field goals i'm not really sure but i saw pictures of this where basically um the uh, the option to squib kick or the option to sky kick is right in front of the screen where they're supposed to be uh, timing the kick meter. So it's like a lot of this stuff is like, did they really try? Did they try this at all? Like I hear a lot of people in the comment section. I'll try to pop those up of people saying that everybody on their team is wearing the same number now on both sides of the ball like which is this like a lot of stuff that makes you wonder if ea should just left it alone because to me the game was pretty good as is and now there's a bunch of just new bugs and stuff popping up all over the place i had somebody comment in my comment section in yesterday's video that they got an interception and then when they got the ball it was fourth and 68 from their own goal line or something weird like that like a bunch of really weird bugs are all of a sudden populating back into the game and it's all because of this latest patch which i guess had some good stuff 
But to be honest with you, I really didn't have a problem. I thought the game was fine just the way that it was. I didn't really think there was a lot of stuff that needed to be fixed, aside from some of the really annoying exploits, like the speed option, and uh, you know the RPOs, they still haven't fixed. There's still a lot of bugs in RPO plays that they still haven't put any attention to. Maybe they can't fix that. That's something, if you want to just remove stuff from the game that's not working, remove some RPO plays that are just totally glitching out defenses and stuff like that. That's not a problem. I, mean, I don't think anybody would complain about that. But at the end of the day, they pick and choose what they want or what they can, I guess, is more appropriate. But let's go and let's get into some of these play rings. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think about yesterday's patch because I know it was causing a lot of people problems. Uh, and that's a shame because, like I said, to me, the game was going pretty good. It was pretty fun. I know the draft class bug was something that a lot of people were, you know, they needed that to be fixed. So, like, certain things probably could have been fixed without just, you know, damaging the whole game. But that's not how EA does things. They like to, they like to break something whenever they fix something. So... Going over the player ratings from week four. Now, my, my I saw this coming a mile away. The highest rated guy that got a up rating was Christian McCaffrey. He went up from a 97 to a 98. It's hard to say that he wouldn't after a four touchdown performance. I think he scored every touchdown for the Niners in that game. That dude's on his way to an MVP performance. So definitely worth a point. I know the first week, I think I complained that he went up to a 97. It wasn't because he went up. It was just because... You would think that the first week's ratings would just be the same based on the fact that they would perform the way you expected. So either way, you know, he went up a point. It's a 98 now. If he keeps it up, I'm pretty sure it was a 99 back when he was in Carolina. He probably will be a 99 by the end of the season if he keeps playing as good as he is. Uh, a couple of big players going down. Nick Bosa going down to a 97. Now, this is something I'm pretty sure he went up to a 98 at some point in the year. I don't know what's going on. Maybe he's not getting the stats that he, he normally gets. Uh, a couple of guys going up again. Stefan Diggs went up to a 97. I know he must have had a big game against uh, Miami because they just got completely wrecked. Max Crosby went up again. I know a lot of people over the years have been saying Max Crosby's underrated in the comment section. He's went up the last two weeks. He's now a 96, and I don't see any decline uh, happening anytime soon. TJ Watt, though, like I said, said a couple of big names went down i didn't read this list ahead of time by the way i give you my straight up reaction tj watt goes down a point after going up i think a point the last two weeks and i still feel like he should be like a 98 or something i mean i don't know why he's still having a defensive player of the year caliber year i don't know what happened last week i didn't necessarily see but i know his stats are on point year after year for him to go up last week and to go down this week i mean i just i just don't get it i don't know what they have against tj watt i really don't Fred Warner went down a point. Another guy. Um, I mean, you know, I, I don't, I don't get it. The Niners are four and zero. They have one of the best defenses in the league. What did Fred Warner do to go down a point? What did Joey Bosa do to go down a point? They both won last week. I'm pretty sure they had a decent enough decent defensive performance. That doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, so, you know, moving on. Whatever. I'm not going to break that down too much. Josh Allen back up another point. I'm not sure what he started the year at. I think he started the year at a 95. He's still a 94 right now, uh, which is down. I think down off of his year average, but he was as low as a 93. Three. And I know he's had some good weeks and some bad weeks, but last week was obviously a good week. I'm pretty sure he won Offensive Player of the Week for Buff or for the um, for AFC last week. So maybe he could have went up two points because I think he had like five touchdowns, if I remember that correctly. One player that I'm definitely happy to see go up is AJ Brown. One of the players that a lot of people, when the year started, were like, "What the hell is this? The guy, the guy's only a 91 to start the year after the monster year he had." Well, last week he had almost 200 yards receiving, two touchdowns. He's now up two points. He went up from 91 to a 93, which I totally agree with because you know I think he's a great player. Obviously, as the Eagles just continue to get some some ratings boosts, uh, making this team even better. On defense, though, they did go down a point with Darius Slay, which is a guy you know as as a defense as a whole. The, the Eagles, I think, are giving up like some of the most touchdown passes in the league. I think they're in, like the top five or top ten. So that perfectly makes sense to, to drop his rating because to me, I think he's a little bit overrated. Joe Burrow down another point. This is a guy who started the year, I think, also as a 95. He's down to a 92 right now. And the Bengals, I was just thinking about that, man. They got to get a win this weekend or their season might be looking like it's too, more, too far to catch up because the AFC is loaded with good teams. So you really can't get too deep there. Moving on, Tristan Wirfs back up a point. He went down a point a couple weeks ago. Cameron Hayward went down two points. So I don't know what he did, but uh, still a really good player, but he's down to a 91. Creed Humphrey, center for the uh, Kansas City Chiefs, up a point to a 91. And then Jamar Chase, who I'm pretty sure went up a point or two uh, not too long ago. I mean, he's been up and down all year. I'm pretty sure he went down the first week, or maybe that was T. Higgins. Then he went up a point or two, and now he's down three points. Jamar Chase down three whole points. His awareness went down eight points alone. So he's down to a 91, which is crazy. I don't know what's going on there in Cincinnati, but they need to figure that out quick. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, uh, Lamar Jackson up two points. 
after I, I think they, you know, had a, I think he had a big game and finally played like Lamar Jackson last week. So he's up, up in the ratings to a 91. Marshawn Lattimore down a point. Another guy just keeps going up and down, up and down. I don't know why they even bother. He's a 91 again. Uh, Mika Hyde up another point. He, I think he just went up to 90 uh, not too long ago, a week or two ago. So he's up to 91 now. Uh, we're going to keep going here. Frank Ragnall up to a 90. He's been up twice, I think, this year. So he's now a 90 overall player. Joel Batonio, though, down two points. Not sure what's going on with him. Uh, that's a pretty big drop, though, for a lineman. I don't know if he was just getting beat all day by somebody or what, but doesn't make a, you know, I, don't, I, I never know what, what they're, when it comes to linemen because there's no stats to back anything up. Joey Bosa down a point as well. So both of the Bosa brothers went down a point, which is interesting. So he's down to a 90. Uh, I mean, the whole Chargers defense is pretty terrible every year. I don't think they should have any players rated very high, in my opinion, but that's just me. Uh, moving on to the uh, the high 80s. I'm going to try to go until about like 85, but I'm also going to look at the big movers, which is something I don't usually do. Tua, uh, or sorry, I don't know how to say his first name, but Huafunga is up to an 89. He got another plus one. He's been moving up all year. Another safety, they got a plus one. It's Antoine Winfield Jr. up to an 88 for the Bucks. Uh, Brandon Ayuk up to an 88. Really good receiver. I uh, got a plus one. I like Brandon Ayuk. I'm not going to lie. That dude's he's, he's a dirty route runner. Uh, Ryan Ramchak for the Saints down a point to an 88. Once again, I mean, it's like it's really hard to say. You know, what are they What are they doing when it comes to, to these ratings? What are they reflective of? It's really hard to say. Dak Prescott coming off of last week going down two points to an 85. Got those two points back, uh, of course, because, you know, EA doesn't really – they're not going to keep a, a Dallas-rated uh, player down low for very long. Um, I know they had a really good game against uh, the Patriots, but you know I, I, I couldn't say what uh, what Dak necessarily did. I mean that was you know that was that was the type of bounce back game you kind of expected after the after the uh, the letdown game to uh, the Cardinals. You kind of expect them to come back and have a good game, and they did. Dallas Goddard down a point. He hasn't done much this year. It's really hard to, to argue that as his his receiving stats have really been um, you know pedestrian. Grady Jarrett up a point to an 87, and Jalen Waddle down a point to an 87. Um, which is surprising. I know that they, you know that whole team didn't play good, but it still doesn't make sense. Jonathan Taylor down two points to an 87. Did he even play yet this year? Why is he down two points based off of injuries? I don't really understand that. Maybe he. I, I think he might have been active last week, but I don't remember if. I don't know if he played. I don't know what's going on with his situation. I know he has a weird situation going on there as he wants to get out of Indianapolis. Uh, Josh Allen up a point. This is Josh Allen, the outside linebacker, 87 overall. A lot of ratings moving. I mean, this is the thing, man. EA is really making a lot of changes to the game the last two days. Grover Stewart, defensive tackle for the Colts, up to an 86. Kenny Moore, also cornerback for the Colts, up to an 86. So they're definitely loving the Colts. Uh, Kyle Pitts went down an 86. And Tua went down to an 86 after his monster week the week before. Xavier Howard up to an 86. We're going to go. We're going to end it there. Like I said, we're going to look at some uh, big movers because I don't want to keep going at this. Yeah, that's what I mean. Aaron Rodgers down a point to an 85. He's not even fucking playing. Like, where do they come up with this shit? Do they just not like Aaron Rodgers? They put his awareness down three. What, do he get stupid in his old age on the bench? I don't understand that at all. Although Aiden Hutchinson and B. John Robinson are both up to an 85. I said I was going to move on, but B. John Robinson is definitely a guy I'm watching. He had a big week in uh, London. I was watching that game. Plus two to 85, and Aiden Hutchinson plus one to an 85. I wonder if Aiden Hutchinson is going to be in like the defensive player of the year conversation uh, come the end of the year. He probably should be moving up a little faster than he is. So I'm going to go ahead, like I said, I'm going to look at the big movers. These are the people that move the biggest, uh, which is something I don't typically do, but I really should start doing this. So guys that have made the biggest moves. I already talked about Jamar Chase. Miles Sanders is down on 81. He's a minus three down, down on 81 with a negative eight awareness, uh, which makes sense to me because honestly, like when they when the Eagles let him go, I was like, dude, the line is the reason. This offense is the reason. I don't really think he's as good as the Pro Bowl season that he had last year. He's not going to be that good in Carolina when he doesn't have a lot around him. So that makes 100% sense to me. Uh, we're just going to go with the really high rated players that moved. Matthew Stafford went up to an 80 plus three. Why was he a 77? This is a Super Bowl winning Pro Bowl caliber quarterback. What the hell was he doing at an 87 in the first place? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, we're going to keep going. Like I said, we're just going to look for the guys that are like moving three or four, like the most dramatic changes. Lorenzo Carter got a minus three. I don't know what's going on there. I'm going to try to stick to the players that we actually care about too, um, as it really seems to be pretty slim picking. So I guess I'm just going to go ahead and move on because I'm already getting some really lowly rated players. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want me to continue this video every week, uh, because this type of thing comes out every every week on a Thursday, right before the Thursday night football games, make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. I'll keep doing it. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.